we're together in this, you and I. Yes, the job will be done and the race will be won. And we know we will win. Good evening, everyone. It's nice to have you all out this evening. Good evening to Lady Chair, uh, Miss Camille Robinson Regis. Also to our Honorable Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley. I say good evening to you all and to my candidates. I want to ask a question of the women who are here today. What is woman? Who are we? Are we given credit for what we do and what we bring? I just jotted a few things. Excuse me, because I'm a little bit techy, yeah? So I used my phone instead. We are child bearers. We are mothers. We are sisters, aunts, providers, strong towers. We are even fathers. The type of woman we are, what brings us to be what we are is the prayer that we carry for our families, the struggles and the sacrifices that we have made, the safety that we provide, our children who we protect, our dedication and our achievements. I want to say to you that I'm a very conscious speaker. I speak to the heart because I know that is where we move from as women. We move from the heart. We speak to our emotion. We act out of emotion. And that is the essence of what brings the joys to our family and even to our country. Never make an excuse for being strong. Never make an excuse for being a powerful woman. There is need for us in this society. And I want to thank our Prime Minister, for the years that he has shown and trusted in this Women's League, trusted in the women of this party. As I walk around in Faisabad, I see strong women, single women. Today we had a natural disaster. It was a freak storm. I hope, I don't know if any of you felt it. But we had a freak storm that hit us in Faisabad today. And I saw some women come out in tears and they said, if only I had some support, if only my husband or my son was here. And at the end of the day, she was standing with other strong women beside her. I want to say right now, even to Ms. Villafano, who went through what she went through today, and Ms. Toussaint, who went through what she went through today, we have some strong women out there. We have women like Muriel Donawa. That was one of our MPs, our PNM MPs in Faisabad. She stood tall, and she was able to pull through a constituency in very hard times. We had people, women like Jean Pierre, from Faisabad as well, excellent leadership. And I say to the women who are out here today, never, never fall because you're standing because of the strength that is inside of you. We are strong women, our PNM women. I thank the Honorable Dr. Rowley that he has, he has kept us together. He has allowed for each one of us to stand strong in all that we do, even in politics. Even as we are representing each of our constituencies as women, we go out there and we do the job and we get it done. And we are at times degraded, as Renuka said. I have felt it, I have gone through it, but there's that inner strength in me that was built from my grandmother's time from my mother's time, from my aunt's time, that has shown me how to move forward. Just a little realization check for some of us. Some of us have been through quite a lot. I have seen my mother, for instance, battle with the loss of our home through a fire that burnt, ravaged our home at the age of six but have also seen her battle through domestic violence, 
as she was beaten and pounded upon by my stepfather. And I hit you guys with my reality because that is something that some of our women are going through. And they ask, who am I going to turn to? Many a times they have no one to turn to. But I reminded one of the women today that you have a battery of strong women around you. It is a grateful time for us here that we as women have a voice. And I tell my younger ones, use that voice. Use it to stand strong. Use it to, to state your commitment. Be purposeful in what you do. And as I say as well, to even the young ones who have been abused, that this is just a test for your testimony. You are going to be able to rise through it all. You are going to be able to rise through it all. So I want to let you all know today that our women in this party are strong. We are able, we are committed, and we will triumph. On the 10th of August, when I speak to my young women, I tell them especially, vote consciously. Vote to protect yours. What's coming, who's coming is important. You have a compassionate party. You have a compassionate leader. And we will do this together. So I want to tell you, in our peaceful and quiet moment here, under the sound of my voice, that God will bless this nation. This, this God will protect us. And we will see victory on the 10th of August. Prime Minister, I know that you are ready and we stand as a battery and an army of strong women around you. So I thank you, everyone. God bless you. One, two,